Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm SH, the CEO of Short Dory, and let's jump into our very first tutorial. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to create a video using Short Dory step-by-step, -step, and also share some quick tips along the way. I'll show you how to make a video with our platform in detail and give you some pointers to get the most out of it. So once you click on Try Now, you'll land on the dashboard. This is basically where our app experience begins. We're planning to roll out tons of video templates and AI tools in the future. In Short Dory, we call our guided process Create, which helps you quickly produce videos that follow a specific template. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a video using our AI Viral Story Create. It creates story clips for any viral niche, whether it's history, knowledge, fun facts, or even cute animal clips. Basically anything you can imagine. When you click Create, you'll see it's divided into steps. Each step has to be completed before you can move on to the next one, so make sure you follow along carefully. First up, we need to write a script. But before writing your script, you gotta decide on your channel niche. Whether it's YouTube, TikTok, or any other platform, you should ideally focus on one niche per channel. Here's a tip. Find a niche that's trending right now. Look for videos uploaded within the past month that have solid views. I recently found an interesting niche about historical facts. So I'm gonna roll with that for today's tutorial. Once you've settled on a niche, take a look at what's working for existing videos in that space. Notice how they structure their scripts. I recommend using the AI script generator to get ideas within your niche, then tweaking the generated script by hand. It's a lot faster that way. But if you'd rather do it all yourself, just hit skip. I'll type in my prompt. You can really go into as much detail as you want. For example, let's set the plot to makeover customs across different empires. For tone and style, I'll say a serious, calm, and smart. I'll also specify that the script should be based on historical facts and that the story hook should engage history buffs. And I'll ask the AI to include a scene at the end that encourages viewers to comment. The more specific you are, the better. If there's a story with characters, be sure to describe them in detail. Next, I'm gonna hit the Generate button. While it's working, keep in mind that Short Dory uses a credit-based system. Right now, we only offer paid subscriptions because we've got so many users. When you subscribe, you get a certain number of credits every month, and that's how you create videos. You'll see the number of credits displayed next to the button. Whenever you press it, it'll use up some credits. All right, we've got our result now. I'm gonna make a few edits. Let's check if the AI included that final call to comment. If not, we'll add it in. Everything looks good, so let's move on. Now we're gonna create the backgrounds. Personally, I love the Animation One style the most, but since we're talking about history today, let's try something more realistic. You'll see multiple generative models available here, each with a description. I like to use the Ultra model for super high quality and complex scenes, even though it costs a bit more. If there are no human faces in your story, Imagen 3 is a great choice because it's cheaper, but actually has the best performance. But it will block the request if there's a person's face in the image. If that happens, you can switch to stable image models and regenerate. Just pick whatever fits your situation. Once the images are generated, you can check them one by one. If you don't like something, you can simply regenerate it. Here's the image to video button. It transforms static images into video. You want the very first scene of your video to capture viewers' attention, so I'm gonna apply this feature to the opening scene. I'll also apply it to whichever scene I think will look the most epic. This feature can be a bit costly, so it's best to use it sparingly for the scenes that really matter. But don't worry, we're working on ways to bring costs down. Next up is voiceover. Choose a voice style. Chris works well for informative content, and Callum is good for storytelling. Today, let's go with Chris. Ancient Egypt praised beauty with intricate eye makeup. You can also assign a different voice to specific scenes. For example, I'll use a female voice for the last scene to grab the viewer's attention when asking them to leave a comment. Which empire's customs captivate you most? Share your thoughts.
Finally, we'll pick the subtitle style and export our video. You can change how the subtitles look right here, and you can preview them live. I think this style is super engaging, so that's what I'm going to go with. Once we hit export, we just wait a bit, and boom, we're done. Once you get the hang of it, you can easily whip up a video of this quality in about three minutes. For background music, it's always best to add it directly from the library that YouTube or TikTok provides when you upload, especially if you can pick songs that are already going viral. That'll give you a higher chance of jumping on that viral wave. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.